Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. Before we get into this week's What's For Dinner, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that I do have a giveaway posted. I posted it yesterday. It is open through Saturday, February 2nd. So I will leave that linked up in the cards and down below so that you guys can make sure that you go enter. Now let's get into the What's For Dinner. Hey guys, it is Friday. Welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. Tonight for dinner, I am making sheet pan chicken fajitas. So I am just starting off by cutting up some onion and I've got some green pepper and some yellow pepper and I'm gonna put that with some chicken and some fajita seasoning on the sheet pan and cook it at 400 degrees for like 20-25 minutes until the chicken is done and I just thought I would show you guys how I put it together <laughs> Is what the fajitas look like out of the oven. I did squeeze some lime over top of it because it's so delicious. And then to go with that, I just made some of that Uncle Ben's Spanish style rice that we love. Or should I say Andy and the kids love because I have not been eating it lately. I do like it. I just, I don't know, haven't wanted rice recently. Um, and then here's my plate. So I've got the chicken and peppers and onions on there. And then I topped it with some avocado and sour cream. And then this one has tomatoes on it as well. So we've got tomatoes. Lime, avocado, sour cream. Oh, and I forgot cheese. I'm gonna put some cheese on mine. And yeah, kids have chips, mashed up avocado. Elijah just has cheese and chicken. Lily has cheese, tomato, and chicken. And she will probably eat another fajita or taco, whatever you wanna call it. Cause usually she does ask for another one, but I don't wanna make her two and then her not eat it. So yeah. That is our dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner, we are having Mississippi Crock-Pot Roast. Um, this time I used a chuck roast and I made it on a day when I wouldn't be home most of the day so I didn't have to smell it cooking because I don't really like the way it smells, but it tastes amazing. So we're having that and then I'm having we're having some of this Italian French bread that we got at Walmart and I made some mashed potatoes and some green beans. And that is our dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it is Monday and I am getting dinner together. This is some broccoli that I have already roasted. I roasted it with some olive oil and some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. And I roasted that for 15 minutes on 400 degrees and we are having salmon tonight. I'm not doing it the way I did last time with the honey mustard because Andy requested it with lemon pepper because that's the way we used to always eat it. It was like the only way we would eat the salmon. So that is what I'm making tonight. And I'm just going to open all these salmons and spread some butter on the top of them and then um, sprinkle on some lemon pepper seasoning. And that is it. I'm roast it for probably about 12 minutes until it's done. Super quick. And I think I'm gonna make some couscous to go with it, and we will just have a quick, easy dinner. And here is what it looks like when it is done, and the broccoli. And I did make some couscous, so the kids have that. This is Elijah's plate. He's been loving the broccoli lately, so he's got lots of that. Mm. Here is mine. And then Lily, not so much loving the broccoli, so she asked for some cherry tomatoes. But this is the couscous. It is the Near East brand couscous. Quick and easy to make roasted garlic and olive oil. I just made it in the microwave, honestly. You just boil the water in the microwave and then stir in the couscous and let it sit for five minutes. Super, super quick. Is the dish off 
And then the same bowl that I made that in, I can just throw the leftovers in there, pop the lid on it, and put it in the fridge. So less dishes. So yeah, and that is our dinner for Monday. It's Monday? Mm -hmm. uh. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and tonight for dinner. This was a request from Andy. It is Sloppy Joe's and Lily is insisting that I show you her plate. Happy? Mm. They've got the same thing. They're splitting a sandwich and then if they eat it all and they want more, they can have more. I need to show yours too. Okay, you can have it back now. But yeah, it's uh, a different recipe than I made last time. Last time it wasn't saucy enough for us. We did like it, but I tried a new one, so hopefully it's still good. I will leave it linked down below. And then we're just having some boxed mac and cheese, lots of pepper on mine, and some green beans. And that is what's for dinner for Tuesday. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, and tonight for dinner we are having like Chinese food. Um, made some fried rice. There's no meat in this. This is just the fried rice like I usually make it with the egg and then no meat. And then I made some roasted broccoli, just has salt, pepper, and olive oil on it. And then this is the sauce for the chicken. So I made sweet and sour chicken. I've shared this recipe before. I think I originally got it from Kristen Step. I think that's right. I think she made it first and shared the recipe. And then I've made it. This is, I think, the third time I've made it. It is so good. The kids don't really like the sauce, so I like breaded the chicken like usual and then just didn't coat it with the sauce and then this will be for me and Andy and then leftovers plenty of leftovers so here's my plate and then the kids plates and yeah that is what's for dinner for Wednesday hey guys it's Thursday the last night of what's for dinner and right now it's just me and Lily and Lily's pushing her plate over here we are having spaghetti. Andy is still at work, and it was Elijah's week to go have dinner with Grandpa, so they went to have Mexican. Lily's got regular noodles, and then I made homemade bread today, and she wanted garlic bread, so I just buttered it and put some garlic powder on it and toasted it, so she's got that. And then I made spaghetti squash, because I've been wanting it ever since we had it, like last meal plan, because it was so good. So I made some of that tonight, and then it's just regular pasta sauce, some ground beef, and then some Parmesan cheese on top. And that is what's for dinner for Thursday. And that wraps up another week of what's for dinner. If you guys like my what's for dinner videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that thumbs up down below. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>